Hello and welcome to this second uh, episode of my 52 project where I choose one uh, special photo from the past week uh, and uh, share it to you guys here on YouTube. This week is an X-Pan shot uh, I took uh, on my lunch break actually uh, last week on Tuesday I think it was. I was walking around with my colleagues and um, took some shots with my uh, Leica M10. Then this uh, woman passed by with an e-cigar, or e-cigarette, or how you call it. And I just saw a, saw a cloud of smoke uh, passing by. <laughs> and uh, I thought to myself that I had, had, to, um, had to capture that uh, with, a, with a quay, or the gravel road, uh, in the background. So I, uh, I started following her. Uh, and she had uh, those big uh, headphones over her ears so uh, I thought to myself that uh, she she wouldn't mind if I if I just walked uh, like two three meters behind her for a while uh, and she didn't so uh, she, that, that was uh, that was great so I I walked behind her and uh, picked the focus uh, on like three meters I guess and the aperture at uh, f2 and then I took like ten images, or yeah, five to ten images, uh, to get uh, to get the right uh, smoke around her. Uh, some uh, some photos had, um, yeah, the smoke was was not right. It was like a big big ball around her, her head or so. But in this shot, it's more even over the whole um, X pan panorama and. Uh, the container to the right, the red container and the blue boot uh, on the left side. I think uh, with her in the middle, I think it uh, it was a great composition. And you can see the puddles on the um, on the ground on the gravel road that shows how the ground is not that even and uh, yeah, nothing is really perfect here. It's it's a pretty trashy trash area actually. But it's great to take photos here. Uh, one billion details all over the place, and the the boats that stretches from the very end to the start. It's not exactly as trashy as this boat here, but uh, none of them are in perfect conditions, <laughs> to be honest. And the same with the right side, the containers. It's containers from the very start to, to the very end. Uh, for storage uh, with tools, paint colors, and uh, different different accessories to yeah to take care of the boots. I don't really remember what I took photos on before she passed me, but when she passed me and I I walked behind her like these three meters or maybe four meters, I when I looked through the viewfinder I thought to myself this is a perfect uh, X pan. I thought it would be in a black and white actually, but when I put on my my uh, preset uh, I've used almost exclusively the la the past uh, three four months or so. I I thought this is perfect. Uh, I love the colors, the red colors in the container, and the kind of blue colors in the boot. It's it is bo blue, but here it. It's more like a gray tone with blue, uh, with blue color in it. But uh, it's more blue in uh, real life, I think. Uh, maybe the smoke hides the the color a bit. But uh, yeah, I thought uh, I thought this would be a great X pan because the um, the crop uh, over her, uh, the the top crop, <laughs> how you call it. It's it's just like a uh, gray gray sky with uh, heavy clouds. It's not that interesting. Maybe some treetops to the right, but and the and a mast to the left from the boat, but uh, not that much. And uh, the lower part is just uh, her leg and uh, more ground. Uh, nothing nothing special there either. So so with the smoke uh, passing by horizontal from the very left actually to. Uh, to the kind of yeah starts with the end of the container or so uh, I think I think the composition 
makes uh, perfect sense uh, because of um, because of the smoke uh, how it lines up in the photo. Uh, it doesn't go lower and it doesn't go higher. And if it would go higher, you wouldn't see it because of the clouds. So, so I think uh, I think this um, this uh, composition is great, uh, great for. Uh, I think this uh, crop is great for the composition. Uh, that's how 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 I would uh, describe it. And um, yeah, I walked uh, behind her probably. 80 100 meters or so and uh, she didn't notice at all i know street photographers like to put the the camera up in the face and take a close up uh, the closer the better uh, <laughs> i think many photographers think i'm not a actually a street photographer but people i see on youtube they i think they they have something up with this that is that it, it's it's uh they think it's it's uh not not that uh, difficult to take photos with the people staring away from the camera i think they want to um to have the look into the lens because uh making some drama making some uh, power in the in the shot uh, it it shows how um uh, it shows a uh, special intense in uh, in the shot. Uh, I don't really have the courage to uh, to go close people and uh, shoot at uh, 35 millimeter on full frame. Uh, I think it's uh, it feels uh, it feels awkward for me, and I guarantee it feels really awkward for for the people I I take uh, the photo of. Um, here in Sweden, we are a bit. Uh, <laughs> a bit to ourselves uh i i think you could say uh and um i think that if you go to london or new york or uh, bigger cities uh outside sweden i think people are more open minded and uh, uh more carefree about uh, people taking photos like in tokyo uh, bangkok or so uh here in sweden people are more want more control over over the situation and if someone passes by and uh, put the camera in their, f in their face and they look down to the camera or in in uh, into the lens i i think they feel like they don't have control uh, over the situation and uh, for me personally i don't think that's uh, that would be a um, a nice situation uh, neither for them or or for me and i think it um, taking pictures of people's backs uh, going away from me uh, for me I think yeah it could be it could be a boring photo for a street photographer but I think for me it makes it it gives a feeling of um, curiosity to the photo I think where are they going uh, where how do they look uh, what will they do? Uh, I think, I think it gives a feeling of relief or something. Yeah, they're going forward. They they don't go into. They're going away. They're going forward. They they go somewhere in their life. They have a meaning. They have a um, they have a thought that they maybe they're going to party. They they are uh, they are happy. Because they're going somewhere fun, uh, they're making something fun. They maybe meet up with some friends or family or anything. I think uh, not just a back on a uh, with a gray background, uh, just the back. I don't think th that doesn't um, put any interest in the photo. But with a surrounding and uh, a light and something special in the photo, I think. It gives a, I think it gives a special mood, and this with the X pan, I think it's a bit uh, cinematic with the smoke, the X pan, the environment. It could be in a movie. No, I wouldn't call myself a, self a street photographer. I, I don't, I don't live in a city. I rarely shoot street. Uh, if I shoot street, I more like look for compositions of buildings, of uh, lines, of. Uh, of people interact with each other but not in a intense way from between me and the 
and the subject uh, I think I will usually capture a moment instead of capture a a look a, spe a specific uh, reaction or a intense look from from the subject or the, the person I take uh, the photo of I think it was between this and uh, another photo about of my son and uh, in the in the stable he stood next to a horse uh, that's a lot more personal photo uh, I asked him if it was okay if I if I choose that one and uh, he said yes but uh, I took this one because it um, I think this is the the photo from the week I will remember the most uh, and um, I'm most happy about actually so uh, this this is the photo from this week as you see I I uploaded this on the Tuesday I thought to myself in the beginning that I would uh, upload ev each uh, Sunday evening uh, but uh, at the weekend I have more time to take pictures and uh, especially now when it it's winter it's dark when I go to work it's dark when I end work and it's uh, dark uh, any time of the day actually almost uh, except lunch the lunch break so i don't take that many photos on the weekdays for now so the weekends is the time i have the most time to take a proper photo for for this project so uh, and i don't really want to stress stress uh, this uh, yeah this micro podcast or how you call it so I thought to myself that it's better to to have the whole week uh, from Monday to Sunday to take the photo and then have the time to record this uh, micro podcast and uh, edit uh, the the sound to the photo and um, have an extra day or two to uh, actually upload it to YouTube and uh, publish it. So I will uh, I will uh, have a couple of days um extra be before I upload it so I think uh, I take a photo between Monday and Sunday and then I upload the photo to YouTube and uh, my glass profile every Tuesday for this project that's my plan uh, and for this week I would like to say goodbye if you have any questions uh, about this photo or anything else uh, please leave a comment and I will answer there or in the next uh, episode uh, depending on uh, how big, big the question is so thanks for this and we get in touch uh, next week thanks bye